Hi, my name is Nick Diaz and I'm an architectural lighting designer and today we're here in the light lab with Roscoe and the XFX LED projector. Roscoe asked me to make some recipes and today we're gonna show you the product of them. While I was making these recipes over the past couple months, I learned so many tips and tricks from the team at Roscoe and today I'm really excited to share them with you. Behind me is our smoke and water effect. This effect is really cool because it uses all the same exact gobos, and the tip here is about learning how to turn the fixture on its side to change the direction and change the entire mood. So let's get in and start loading up some templates. When you open your fixture, remember that we've got three spaces that we can actually put gobos in. The first one is a static slot, and for us we're going to use this heavy rain gobo. This one here is gonna act like a soft mask. When we put it, a template in this static slot, we're not gonna get the most crisp projection from it. However, it is gonna shape the light in a nice way to make sure that we don't get a fully projected circle. So use this as sort of like a soft mask for whatever you're trying to do. To block some of the light, we're going to use cloud cover, which is a steel gobo. And we'll put that in our first gobo slot here. Remember when you put the gobos in to always make sure that the flat sides are facing inward so that the templates don't rub against each other. When you insert the template, you're gonna push the drive wheel aside, make sure that it springs back and touches the actual template. We're gonna add a piece of effects glass. Now, Roscoe has so many different pieces of effects glass. Remember, the more texture you have, maybe the less of the image you'll see. So this one's pretty light. We're just gonna use it to add a little bit of texture and depth to our final image. We're gonna put this in our second animation wheel slot. And remember, we wanna put the flat sides in so the templates don't rub up against each other. Make sure that it's touching the guide wheels and make sure it's touching the drive wheel. All right, let's get this fixture closed up and we'll go take a closer look. Now at the fixture, let's put it all together. We've got that template in the static slot. We're going to sharpen up the focus as much as we possibly can. And you'll see it'll come into focus, but remember, this is a very soft focus. This is not going to deliver really crisp, clean images, but that's okay. This is sort of a more natural effect. We're then gonna start to roll in the hard steel gobo. And then as you can see, right, we're blocking some of the light, we're letting some of the light pass through, but what we wanna do to really sell this effect is to get that effects glass rolling. Now as we roll it in, you'll start to see that the water starts to make little ripples and the light starts to reflect and refract on the edges. And having these two layers is really important to making realistic effects that aren't just sort of shapes passing each other. What we have is a pretty realistic flowing water scene. As I flip this fixture over, you're gonna see it's gonna change into an entirely different effect. Now with the fixture rotated, our rippling water has turned into smoke. It has turned into steam. We are able to take the directionality and flip it to create an entirely different effect. We hope we've inspired you today to take your designs to the next level. Take a look at the entire Gobo catalog. The opportunities are endless. Like this effect? Think you might have a use for it? Or maybe have some ideas of your own? Comment below, we'd love to hear them. Make sure to catch the rest of the series where we're gonna go through more tips and tricks to make the most out of your Roscoe XFX recipes.